Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Whist from CZT Michelle Beauchamp. Oh, this is a, a neat tangle. And uh, as you saw on the, uh, the opening uh, picture, uh, you know, what it looks like, it's uh, uh, Wisteria was the inspiration and I just love that print. All right, this starts off with just some S-shaped lines. We're going to start right here. We'll go down. Well, that's a little, that's okay. Um, and we'll do another one here, another one here. You know, you could fill up how, however much space that you want to fill. Then, and this I think is, it, the whole thing is clever. All right, so I'm going to pick the, the center and just some straight, some straight lines, but as it, as it curves around or as you wish, you can have them go different angles and, you know, have them as close or, you know, far apart as you want. And it, you know, looking at the inspiration, they are kind of packed together. I might actually, why don't I, I'm going to stick another one in here and one in there thinking about it now. Um, and then we're going to do this for all of them. And one thing that um, Michelle did at the bottom of hers was she just added a little bit bigger, some extra, just just in the air lines like that. Now let's have this one go just. Then we're just going to put, uh, you know, like some tethered orbs, you know, around these, tethering it right, you know, well, either on the line or just to either side. And what I love about, well, I probably didn't need to put that there, but if you did this, like I did, I put a little extra one in here, right? We can use the halibau technique. And so that would be, I'm going to start on the other, can you see that? Yes, you can. Um, I'm going to start on this side. And if, so if you're unfamiliar, it's like, oh, and then I stop there and then finish it uh, down on the other side. I usually travel my pen along as if I'm drawing it. So that way you kind of stay in that mindset. And then, like I said, just continue it. And this other one is going to be the same. <laughs> These ones, too. I should have left it, right? Uh, so here's what I, what I was going back to what I was saying. One thing that I liked about Michelle's step out is she had some that were, you know, like that, you know, they were kind of, kind of curvy, not worrying about, um, well, you could do it on purpose too, uh, but not worrying about what this shape looks like. And I love that. I'll do mine a little bit. Shaky is the only word in my head, but that's not the word that I mean, but you get it. Actually, I think I like that better than making them nice and straight. <laughs> oh, and let's add them right here. And then on these little extras, just find the middle and, and put, you know, the little tethered orbs in there like that. And so we're going to continue this on either side. And in the description section of the video, you will find, uh, well, I always do my own version of the step out. Uh, so you will find that. And then below that, uh, the for more inspiration link is to the um, creator of the tangle. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to rename that um, so I don't have to explain it every time because it's like when I, when I did it, 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 uh, well, it still makes sense, but um, I might rename that. Uh, and so, but what I'm going to do with that one, a lot of times we'll say, well, I find it on, found this on Tangle Pattern. I should be making these smaller, but it doesn't matter. Um, I found this on tanglepatterns.com and 
usually what I do is I'll put a link uh, to, well, it depends on where I find it. If I find it on Tangle Patterns, sometimes I also put in the link to the the step out itself because sometimes it's hard it's hard to find where where the link is in the verbiage, uh, you know, unless uh, you know Linda puts it, you know, puts the picture on there. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have the link to, to Tangle Patterns. And there are two links within uh, Linda's, uh, on that page. One is to the step out, and then another one is to, I mean, both of them go to uh, Michelle's blog. But one has a, has a sample, and it's really, really neat. And I thought, well, let's just simplify things. And I'm just going to leave that link as it is just to Tangle Patterns. And then, but make sure to click on both of those because it's just the um, the extra sample is just so cute. I'm gonna come down here. Ooh, see, and you could always curve it the other way too, if you want to. And she shows on the the sample some extra variations. Oh, and let's do like a little little extras here. And that's that's what I. I want to make sure that you you know take a look at because she has some really neat ideas um, for I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add one right up here at the top because it's like that line was a bit long okay but yeah do take a look I always like I, I like to share that because I think it's neat to to see to see the work from the person that created it all right I'm just gonna put graphite down the center and that's I, what uh, Michelle did on hers and I'm like well that's a great idea so depending on how big you do them you're not really going to have a lot of room to do anything else but you know you never know you could let's see let's I'm just going to I'm using kind of an up and down motion because I want to keep it kind of kind of tight but then you could also do like this and just do the same, you know, back and forth or up and down motion. Just depends. I call this scooching. <laughs> I'm scooching the graphite. And you go, just go right on those lines. And then these little guys too, because that seems to help. So I'm just trying to keep it somewhat contained. You see, oh, see what I did? I, I, I turned my, uh, the tortillon this way. See how much wider? That's why a lot of times I'll do it this way. <laughs> just like I said, just to keep it contained to where I want it. I'm going to have to do that again. If, if I do a, something on shading specifically, we'll have to have to play with that. Just, just so you can see. Or you just play yourself. <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> All right. And honestly, well, you know, I could have, as I'm thinking of like, well, I could have just put graphite, you know, a little dot in the center and not uh, shaded, put shading down the whole thing. But I, I kind of, I like the way that that looks. I think it looks really, really cool. Now, if you have some bigger, uh, we'll call them petals, you could put a little graphite on the outside to make it... Uh, Give it a little bit more of a curve if you wanted to, like that. And I'm just using what's left on my on the tortillon. It's a great way to get rid of some of uh, the build up if you have any, and add a little bit of shape. Oh, this is great. Super neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have you click on like, and then also, if you haven't done so yet, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Feel free to leave comments and share it and all of that. I appreciate any and all of those activities as it uh, helps get the word out, tells the, the algorithms to share my video, um, and I appreciate that. I already mentioned the description section where you'll find the step outs, but below that, if you enjoy what I do, and you'd like to do online classes, would love to have you join us. Um, and us meaning 
other fellow Tangle addicts. We have an amazing community. The very last link on that description section is a link to our uh, private uh, Facebook group. So if you happen to be on Facebook and you want to hang out with some some amazing Tanglers, um, we would love to have you. So click that. Know that there's some uh, membership uh, questions to gain entry. Uh, but again, we'd love to have you. Uh, there's also uh, a link to my Facebook page. So if you just want to follow me there, that's great. Uh, and then a link to my website as well. There you'll find uh, the classes I do. I teach twice weekly, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, my time here in Michigan. Um, and uh, yeah, and I, I list I list the free codes on uh, you, on 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 that page. You, so you can just kind of browse through. Um, I'm in the process of of updating that, so it can be a little bit um, less less time scrolling. Um, but you'll also see that I do classes that are paid. And then I have uh, one one uh, one uh, class a month that is for club members. And you can, uh, there's a link in that, in the verbiage explaining that class. And you can click there for more information. But it's essentially a, a subscription. So a subscription to Zentangle. Zentangle classes by moi. And um, we have a lot of fun. And it, at the time of this recording, do take a look if you if you're interested. Take a look because uh, there's going to be some changes because I've added some things, and uh, the price is going to change. So, um, if you watch me regularly and you run on the fence, uh, take a look. I, I will put a notice out and give you know about a you know a month or two notice and then uh, uh, before I make changes, just because that's how I like to do things. So with that, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.